Hey YouTube, this is the Uranium Man here. Today I'm doing a direct comparison between three different kinds of Edison-based black light bulbs. This means that they can be screwed into a standard light bulb socket that you find around your house. I've got an American DJ BLB7W, which is a pretty darn new 7 watt LED bulb. I've got a 75 watt incandescent black light bulb, the kind you commonly see in stores around this time of year. I've got a complex fluorescent 20 watt bulb that's already in the the lamp uh, the lamp over there, and that's actually what I normally have in there because we've got black light posters in here. Here's the compact fluorescent bulb shining up on those posters. They look very nice. I also placed some fluorescent mineral specimens on a little stand there behind it, the CD stand. We've got uh, the green willamite, the kind of reddish, orangish soda light next to it, and yellowish wernerite. That bright green thing is a uranium glass ring holder. Again, let's back out. Kind of rock it back a little bit. Very nice. Okay, here's the BLB7W LED bulb. And this is admitting at a little bit higher wavelength, much more into the visible light. Um, you still get a very nice effect off the black light posters and the uranium glass. Here's the key difference here. That Willamite isn't quite as green as it was before. You can kind of see it a little bit still, and the Wernerite and Soda Light actually look brighter. I think there's actually more, uh, this bulb has a higher output because LEDs are so efficient. Right, back, back out. Rock it up a little bit. Yeah, that works very nicely in a home setting. I was surprised at how inexpensive this uh, bulb was, being a 7 watt LED bulb. Um, it was under 20 bucks for me. Now this is the 75 watt incandescent black light. As you can see, it's pretty feeble. Um, as you know, a 75 watt incandescent bulb would normally light up this entire room. But the way these things work is they have a coating on them that absorbs all the light, in, or most of the light, in the visible part of the spectrum. And unfortunately, with the way incandescent bulbs work, is most of the light they put out is in the visible part of the spectrum. Their UV output is incredibly low. So, you hardly get a UV reaction out of them at all. Uh, the uranium glass is very feebly glowing. The blacklight posters are all but invisible. And it's mere inches away from the fairy one. I mean, it's literally on the wall right behind it. Uh, and the reason I saved this bulb for last is the way, because uh, that coating on it is absorbing all the visible light, well, it's turning all that visible light into heat, and that bulb is going to get very hot, and I will not be able to change it by hand. The compact fluorescent light got a little bit warm. Uh, the LED one was room temperature. That one I'm going to have to let cool down for quite some time before I can change it out and put the CFB back in. So, I hope you like this direct comparison between three types of uh, screw-in black lights emitting light in different parts of the spectrum. I'll put a picture at the end of showing all three of them together.